my town there. Partly the way it is, partly the way I imagine it. From out here, it looks comfortable, doesn't it? Prosperous, even happy. Well, for the most part, it is. Except for the poison, the rot, the horribly toxic abscess. gallery. I think that zines are such an amazing form of creative expression that is just so easily accessible um, to, you know, pretty much everyone. Mm. And I thought that perhaps if there was a bit of an insight into zine culture and, you know, what it can be, and then people might be um, inspired or encouraged to make their own and um, I think it would be great to, to kind of have the associated workshops with the show mm. and, um, and have everyone who visits um, can have the opportunity to make their own zine or mm. kind of mini zine in the space. So when, when it was decided that there would be a dozen zine makers <laughs> in the substation gallery for 24 hours, what was your first reaction? My first reaction was that it might be a bit uncomfortable because all the floors are concrete and <laughs> hard and so people would have to like bring sleeping mats or sleeping bags and stuff and I thought that might... <laughs> <laughs> so that was a practical... <laughs> yeah, the practical kind of concerns. But I immediately it was really um, exciting yeah. because I think that this space is just has so much scope and especially at different times of day well I find I get you know so much more out of one area as opposed to another area and just also being in that kind of environment obviously a, a former substation we're right on on Newport station mm. um, at the intersection of two train lines and you hear the railway constantly and it's just mm. kind of that rem the building the physical surrounds as well as the um, what you can hear is such a reminder of the industrial nature, the former industrial nature mm. of this building and of the area. How do you feel about all this freight going past? Good. <laughs> but I suppose you must be used to it now. Yeah, oh, yeah, after being in this room for like a few hours, <laughs> I'm so used to it. I didn't even notice it was going by. Oh, all right, well, as, <laughs> we, as, as we were talking. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey Beck, what are you writing? Hi Tom! Uh, I'm writing about my neighbours. I grew up, I'm like the only one here who grew up in Newport. Yeah. I Newport. And so I have some advantage of just writing about my childhood, my neighbours. My sister rocks at this place, which is fun. Yeah. Um, I love Newport. <laughs> I love it so much. I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. I'm not even Got an awful lot of stuff here. Yeah. So I was trying to make an issue. You know, I tried writing about what's happening here. And then I came to the conclusion that my response to the space is to do this. So I'm taking some photos. I'm just going to put out an issue, which is just a photograph yeah. of this. Because really, you know, in responding to the space, like, that's the one thing I don't have at home. Yeah, this is my space. Yeah, yeah, just, I don't have any space at all, so it's just really nice to be able to spread out. Hmm. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, that's interesting, that. It, I suppose it's in your nature that if you're given a large space of any kind, you use it to make zines in. Yeah. <laughs> to, like, 
Yeah, it took me a long time to realise that. I remember playing in a band when I was about, I don't know, 17. And we used to get, you know, we used to go to the rehearsal room. And I'd get straight in there and rather than set up the gear, you know, I'd set up the rehearsal table and start collating. And it took me a while to realise that, you know, maybe I wasn't meant to be in a band. But yeah, just to yeah. realise that when that space is available, I kind of take it. Yeah. Yeah, because I suppose with Z making, you don't necessarily need a studio. You just need somewhere to stretch out. Yeah, or do you I, think I, that... I like working at home. Yeah. You know, I think it's fine. Because all I use is that table there. Yeah. And then I just need somewhere to let the ink dry. So uh, you've almost been working through, haven't you? Yeah, I worked till... I went through till about quarter past five, I think. <laughs> I was really keen to see the sunrise, but I just got really tired really quick. Yeah too much tea and cola. Yeah. So I just crashed about quarter past five. I got up at eight, did some more. Yeah. Let's have a look at some of your drawings. Sorry, um, do, you, do you want to sing in? Yeah, let's have a look. Okay. Well, so these are just like preliminary sketches. Oh yeah. A bit of the area and sort of what I noticed about the place. Bit of outside, but it was a bit windy, so yeah. didn't really do much. <laughs> oh, yeah. so, like that's why it's all yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I guess the biggest thing about it for me is, I guess it's the windows. Yeah, well, I think it's just the thing that really, um, well, about the substation. Yeah. It's the thing that really strikes you immediately as you as you approach it. You know, it's yeah. the windows. Yeah. Um, that is, mm -hmm. you know, that, that classical arch, and then you walk in and you see four big. You know, windows. See, so those are sort of reflected there. It's not that close. Yeah. But it's that, and it's way above you. But it's that sense of like having four big windows, just sort of facing each other like yeah, that. Yeah. So that's yeah. sort of coming through there. Tessellations on the floor. That kind of. I guess it's just sort of little details that I notice about the substation, yeah. which I'm sort of trying to bring in to the work. Yeah. And sort of then. Um, I guess you've got a dance studio up there and yeah. then you've got a ballroom downstairs yeah. and then so I really wanted to do something which was a, a little bit more related to dance and <laughs> we'll put it together. Wow. Oh, it's all very, yeah, it's all very ambitious. What yeah, got. well I guess, um, like I said earlier, I really want to really want to respond to the substation. Yeah. I, I'm going to be here for 24 hours so it's, you know, what it should be in. I, I did sort of look at the outside a little bit, but for me the experience should be about being inside the substation more than, you know, what you get outside of it. Or yeah. Like, like seeing it from a distance. Yeah, yeah cool. Yeah. Nice. So hopefully I can get, some, like, it, this is all very well, like, drawing all this <laughs> video. I can't use any of it, so <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, <laughs> it's, it just looks, it looks really good. <laughs> So what have you made, Al? I've made a zine. <laughs> you made a zine? Yeah, yeah. Let's have a look. One of these. What's it called? The 12 hour recursive. Very nice. Yeah. Oh yeah, it looks, it looks nice as well. Yeah, yeah. I can give you a flip through if you like. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so it's just cool. lots of cursive print. And yeah. See, so I ran out of the purple, so it went to the red for the last <laughs> two and a half lines. Oh. It's a bit sad, oh, but then I resorted to the typewriter. Yeah. Yeah. So lots of bizarre misspellings and it's like that little wheel's not meant to be there. <laughs> so yeah, lots of different essays on different things. Nice. And you have lovely handwriting. Oh, I thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Do many people mention that? Uh, no. Oh really? Uh, it depends who I'm talking to. I don't dot my eyes. Because, right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure if I mentioned this, I sort of um, there was a sort of a line in a Queen song where they said, you know. She boils, <laughs> she boils and she bakes and she doesn't dot her eyes. So is I'm that like, what you I do as a 14 year old, I'm not going to dot my eyes anymore, and so I don't dot my eyes. So I've dotted my eyes for the past That's amazing. 13 years. <laughs> I don't um, dot my J's. Oh, you don't dot your J's? Well, Freddie never mentioned that. No, he didn't. There was, was no song there. You should have, yeah, you should have <laughs> continued to dot your J's, <laughs> but not dotted your eyes. No, I, I mentioned this to Andrew at some yeah. point, and he's like, no, it's, you know, dotting, dotting your eyes is a complete waste of time. <laughs> I'm like, man, I'm glad someone agrees with me. <laughs> nice. All right, well. it takes so much time to go, uh. <laughs>
Well, you, well, you go back and do it. <laughs> Don't ask stupid questions. You are beautiful. <laughs> yeah, that's alright. It's important to rehydrate. Yep. So what are you thinking at the moment? Um, in terms of what you're going to make? I've taken, I was thinking of trying to do like comics for this. Yeah. Like cartoons. But also, I was thinking I would try and do something more, like less comics. Yeah. Based and more like yeah. zine. Oh, comic, so. comic. Yeah, comics can be zine. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're like, yeah, they're, they're cousins. Yeah, so, yeah. Because yeah. um, I suppose, in terms of what you do, like it seems, it kind of seems like stuff you've sketched in the moment. And, uh, yeah. And, and like, do you go back and work on anything? And like, some, sometimes. Do like, you build things up or? Like, um, not really. No. Yeah. Well, <laughs> just kind of leave it. Yeah. <laughs> that's, quite, that's, I, that's what I like about them, really. Because right. I think it's the same thing about Liz Tan's work. Uh, but um, Liz Tan's oh, work, yeah. like if she, if she built that stuff into a bigger thing, I don't know if it would work quite the same way. Because yeah. it's just like these tiny fragments of ideas or yeah. puns or whatever, you know. So yeah, me too. Yeah. Really yeah. yeah. But like if that was made into a like a strip or something, it wouldn't quite feel the same, you know. Yeah, I guess not. Or if they were more complex as drawings, they wouldn't really work. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. It's but probably selfish. Like, yeah, what else yeah I think so. Like quite varied. Well, I think so. I mean, out of who we've got here now, Luke does you, which is sort of, um, well, you know, it's like a letter, sort of letter-based thing. Mm. And then Christina does punk zines usually, and she's going to use as, as a chance to try something kind of different. Mm. And then Max, who's in there, I don't think, I don't know if I've introduced him to you, but he, he does poetry usually, so, mm. uh, and he does some... So I think he's going to try and do something different as well. Mm. So I think it's people who do different things, but are using it as a as a chance to kind of just see how they react to the space, mm. and possibly in a different way than they usually would. Mm. Oh, I'm still feeling you. <laughs> so how's it going, Sophie? Good. I possibly overslept a little bit last <laughs> night, um, so I'm pushing it to get it done by midday. Oh, now. okay. It'll happen. So what are you actually writing about in terms of... Uh, you've wanted it to be uh, substation focused, so it's a yeah. bit about the substation, old buildings generally, really. Okay, How yeah. I'm a big sucker for old buildings, and especially old buildings that are repurposed and turned into new things. Mm -hmm. And also a few musings on the things that I found in the art exhibition downstairs. Mm. Yeah. Yes, because there's a few interesting things down there. Yeah, well, there's art that makes a statement and that's definitely it, that's mm, for sure. Well, um, but yeah, no, it's um, it's good, beautiful space. I got to yeah. sleep centre stage last night. <laughs> yeah, I did, uh, I must admit, I did nearly, <laughs> I did go looking around there and nearly trip over you, so oh, hopefully good. I didn't disturb you. <laughs> no, 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 I can sleep through a thunderstorm. <laughs> yeah. It's um, always good to see new things and get out of your inner city bubble a little bit. Although, mm. you know, the way that people carry on, you'd think that this was way out in the boondocks, but it's actually not that bad. <laughs> yeah, it's 20 it's minutes by train, yeah. And, uh, and uh, do you type often on typewriter? No. So and I'm just... only typing on it now because I don't have a printer and my handwriting is dreadful. <laughs> but this is a pretty good typewriter and, you know, it hasn't yeah. really jammed the ribbon's behaving itself. That's all right then. My hands are aching a little bit, but that's yeah. because I'm a wimp. Um, <laughs> well, we've, yeah, we've, we've become used to typing on... It's interesting seeing kids come into Sticky and try and use typewriters. Are they just hitting it really lightly? They really lightly press them and not sure why and nothing's happening. Yeah, so, <laughs> Yeah, you yeah. have to explain to them they actually physically... Similar to like concert <laughs> piano playing, like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. So yeah. Oh, well, lovely. Thanks for talking to me. No worries. <laughs> so Alice has made her first zine, haven't you? Mm-hmm. Let's have a look at it. This is my first zine. Does it have a name? Uh, not yet. <laughs> mm, um, I think of one though. <laughs> so, what was your uh, thinking process here? Um. Well, it was kind of like an evolutionary series. Oh, okay. Well, like the ascension of man, that thing. Yeah. Yeah. We went dinosaur, dinosaur Alice. Yeah, dinosaur, <laughs> dinosaur Alice. That's how it goes. Yeah. So what was London? London, I guess it's about this kind of weird phenomena where, um, you know, people get visas and go to the UK. Yeah. Yeah, I was just kind of thinking about that and that expat okay. kind of vibe. And this looks like a reaction to the substation. Yeah. So this is um, a rubbing from the floor. Yep. And this is the window on which I slept last night. It was actually, I thought it would be quite scary, but um, it was really kind of serene and peaceful. Yeah. What's on the back? That's All like right. a masked female yeah. bandit lady. <laughs> so how do you feel about having uh, explored the form of zine making? Um, I feel completely satisfied. I think this is going to be my one and only zine. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that I've really encapsulated my talents. <laughs> and yeah. Okay. I feel a sense of completion.